Okay, so uh, in the background you can see uh, two uh, tin foil barbs. Um, I estimate they're about three, four inches long at the moment. Uh, we've had them about six months. Uh, they're one of my favourite fish. We've recently moved them to this upstairs tank. They were downstairs in a tank that was a little bit too small for them. They were starting to harass a smaller live bearer fish downstairs. Uh, these here, uh, the guy in the background there with the, uh, the big dorsal fin is a red-headed Severum and the fish nearer to the camera is a keyhole cichlid. Um, high up in the tank here we've got a, uh, uh, two barbs, two cherry barbs or albino barbs I think, uh, and a green barb, a uh, green tiger barb at the top there. Uh, one of the newer additions to the tank is this little baby plaque here. This little fella's probably about two, two and a half inches long, uh, absolutely brand new. Uh, hope to get them really, really big, feeding a lot of, uh, lot of vegetables, a lot of uh, algae wafers. So hopefully we can get this guy pretty big. Uh, I suppose one day he'll outgrow the tank. This tank is a four foot, 300 litre, I think that's about 80 of the US gallons. Uh, very pleased with it, very, very new to me. It's a, it's a Chinese copy. It's a, it's a Sun Sun. Uh, it's in walnut. It's a, it's a complete replica. But I'm very pleased with it. It's about half the cost of the, uh, of the real McCoy. In this, uh, in this Buddha's head, or perhaps a warrior's head. I'm not sure if it's Buddha or not. Uh, it's a black ghost knife fish. But it's completely nocturnal. So he won't come out until later in this evening. I'd like to get a good shot of him, but just can't quite see him. Uh, I'm told that they eventually become uh, a daytime fish. Let's, uh, let's hope that's soon. Okay, he's an amazing looking fish. Got the clown loaches at the back there. We've had a, a recent little issue with ick or white spot with these clown loaches. We've treated them with the uh, Necessary stuff, which you can see is stained the air tube blue there because uh, it's got the copper sulfate in it. But, uh, maybe that'll clear through, maybe I'll replace it. It doesn't worry me too much. Uh, any questions, any tips, any feedback? I'd love to hear it. Peace out.